One of the most important things you can do when you are putting any videos on YouTube is to make sure that you have a really eye-catching thumbnail for that so that it stands out on the page. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do those in Canva, but also with the help of ChatGPT to create some images for your thumbnail. So if you go to the home page in Canva, the first thing you can do is just look at some of the templates there. So you can type in right here in the search box, YouTube thumbnail and click enter. And you'll see that there are a whole bunch of different uh, templates that you can use as your starting point. That's going to be your quickest thing to do. I'm going to pick something relatively simple. Let's try this one. And then I'm just going to click on customize this template and I'm going to rename it so that I have a good name for this. Let's just call it demo two because I have a demo one of YouTube video thumbnail. All right, make sure you've saved it under a different name. And then the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of that image because I'm going to create my own and I'll change the title. So it's how to get Make sure you click it so you're highlighting all the text. Otherwise, you'll have to drag it. Get more views on YouTube. And you may have to just stretch out the box a little bit or stretch out the background box. So I'm going to click away. Make sure that I have the that background box. Sometimes it's hard to select it. So I'm going to move this out of the way. It looks like it may be grouped with the other text. You may have to expand it a bit. So I'll just expand that a little bit. It's got this overlapping it. So I have to move that down or maybe just delete that entirely, that box. Okay. So now I've just got that text. I also want it in my brand colors. So I'm going to go back on the left here to design and to styles. And then if you have a paid account where you have your brand set up, you can shuffle through different combinations of your colors to see one that you like. This must be a set background, so it's not changing the colors there, but I can deal with that another way. So let me just leave it as the dark blue. You can also pick other color combinations and play with that also. Now I don't like this background color, but I'll leave the actual style so I can edit the coloring on that by going into edit image and then going through the filters. I can see all filters and maybe making that more of this Bali color that kind of goes with my brand color of the teal and I'm just going to leave that as is. Now I need an image to go on here because this is really kind of blah and I can either try to use canvas text to image which I have a little bit trouble with it doesn't work that well. So if I go into apps you can play with it yourself. You can try going into some of the popular ones like, let's see, it should be one called Magic Media. I think I've already added it. They tend to change the names. It used to be text to image. There's these popular ones like mockups, image upscale, or you can try different ones. They get better over time, but I actually already added it in here and it's called magic media. So I'm going to go in there and I can actually type in some words and try their design feature. So say I want, um, you have to good, have to have a good sense of what you want. Woman watching YouTube video, uh, surrounded by thumbs up. And you can pick a style or not, and then just click generate image and see what it comes up with. Now this does require you to have some idea of what you want an image to look like. So these are some interesting ones. It did not actually do a thumbs up and I don't think I could actually use any of these. You could play with it a bit uh, if you're better with images and see if you can come up with something, but, uh, and then just add it to your design so that you have something on there. This one isn't, isn't too bad. You could also erase some of these things in the background. So this is one idea. Another one is you can go and get help from ChatGPT. So I'm going to go over to ChatGPT. I did this chat already once just to show you, but I can start a new one also. What I did is I said, I need to create a thumbnail for my YouTube videos on how to optimize your videos to get more viewers on YouTube. What are some ideas for images I can put on my thumbnail? And it came back with a bunch of different things. Um, that could go onto an image. And then it said, would you like me to create a detailed design for the thumbnail? I said, yes, please. It came up with this, which is not bad. 
but of course the text is always wrong. So I tried editing it and then I pulled it over to YouTube and edited it more. I'll show you that in a second, but let me start a new chat and see how the same prompt, what kind of differences it would do. So I'm going to highlight that text. I'm going to go over and open a new chat. I'm in chat GBT for O. That's the newer one, which is a little bit better. And then I'm going to just type in that prompt and let's see what comes up. So it's saying pretty much the same thing. Computer screen, graph or chart, magnifying glass, clickbait elements. It's a little bit different. Vibrant backgrounds, but let's see what kind of image it does this time. It says, would you like me to generate a sample? I'm going to say, yes, please. You can talk to it as if you're talking to a person. That's always a good thing to do. It just makes it easier. You don't have to go detailed into spe special prompt engineering other than to give it really specific details on what you want. Like I could have told it, I want it in a landscape shape if I wanted it to cover the entire image. So let's see, came up with something completely different than what I had before. And I really don't love this. Um, bold text, more views, mainly the text is always kind of wrong, but we can fix that here or in Canva. And let's see, let's try editing it here first. And I can just click on it to edit it. And then you click on this little paintbrush thing. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to highlight the text here, right there. And I'm going to say, and it says edit selection. I'm going to say change text to get more views. Or how about even better, just subscribe now. And let's see what that does. There's other things in here that, that need to be fixed as well, but I'll show you how to do that in Canva. So I'm going to click go. It's going to regenerate this image with supposedly those edits in it. So it's working on that. It's working on it. I wouldn't have this thing called clickbait. We'll change that also. And this just takes a second. Okay. It's redone it. And actually I told it to put in subscribe and it put in optimize your videos. So it decided to do something different. So I'm not going to do any more sort of edits there since it didn't get it right, but I will download it and show you how to edit it in Canva instead to edit that text. So I'm going to click on the download button. It's going to open it in what's called a WP file. So I'll show you in my downloads that it's com coming up here. I've got lots of different downloads for my text. As you can see, Chrome HTML which is what's called the WP or WebP file. So you're going to have to convert that to a PNG to use it anywhere. And you can go into an app called convertio.co, or you can just type in convert WebP to PNG and find a free one. So here, here it's convertio and I'm going to go back to my downloads and grab that file and just drag it onto that page. And then I'll click convert. It's done and I'm going to click download. So it's gone into my downloads. If I go back to my downloads again, I will rename it. Here it is in a PNG and I'll say YouTube thumbnail demo two, so that we can, we know where it is. Then I'm going to go back to Canva where I started this image. I'm going to delete that one and I want to add the one that I just created. To do that, I can go back into my downloads, grab that thumbnail, and again, just drag it and drop it and it will automatically upload it. And I can then put it onto the image. If I drag it onto the image, it'll automatically add it. So there it is in the image. And then I can expand that, delete that. But what I'm going to do first is do some edits to this. So I'm going to move this up here and make it a bit bigger. And I'm going to move this over here. You can play with sizing and stuff. And then I want to edit this a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and let's play with this text. So the way to edit these images and remove the text is go into edit image when you have it selected and you can go into magic eraser and adjust the brush size. So that's the circle you see. And I'm going to make it just a spec bigger because I want to delete this whole section here that says optimize your videos. That's about right. And then I'm going to highlight it and it will automatically erase it. You might have to do it more than once if it doesn't work this first time. I could erase this as well because it's a bit too much. 
stuff on there. I find this a much easier way to edit little things if you generate something in ChatGPT, which uses DALL-E, which is actually the same as what Canva uses, but it just seems to be easier to use in ChatGPT. So I'm erasing all the things that I want to change. I also want to erase this clickbait, but it's smaller. So I'm going to adjust my size here again and just erase that. And I have erased everything now that I want to erase. So let's edit this image a little bit more. First, I want to make sure I have subscribe here. So I'm going to go out of the magic eraser and I'm going to make this whole thing zoom in a little bit more so I can see what I'm doing. And the first thing I'll do is go into text, which is over on the left near the top. And I'm going to do body text. It's coming really tiny at the bottom here, but you can just see it. I'm going to move it up a little bit so you can see where it is. I'm going to have to make this smaller. So I'm going to say subscribe. It's actually, you have to make sure it's highlighted. Subscribe. You can't see that because it's black. So I have to change the color as well. You highlight it and then click on your little icon and change it. I can also change the font. So for instance, I might want to make this a bold one. And let's see how it fits into that box. It's put it in as a very wide box, text box. So I'm going to just adjust that. And then I'm going to take this little crosshairs and put it over onto that button. And then I want to have maybe some thumbs up to show that people are looking at it and actually giving it likes and stuff. So that would be another element. Let's go to heading or go to elements. And I did already search that before. So I have the thumbs up there, but you would type in, um, say YouTube thumbs up to find images. Now this one has a little star, which means it's a paid one. So if you need to, if you don't have a paid account and you want to look at free ones, you can filter and look at just free ones and let's see what comes up. So there aren't, are, aren't as many, but there is one here. Comes up as black. I want it as white. So again, pick your colors and then maybe just put that right in here. So it's a little bit of a busy image, but this is just to show you. I'm going to change the colors again too and adjust that filter on here. So I'm going to edit image, go into the filters I'm going to click on see all and maybe make this more of a not quite so bright. There's lots of different things. You can adjust the intensity and all those different things. Let's zoom back in so you can see it. And I'd want to add my logo as well. So you can play with different sizing. You probably want the text to be a bit bigger. You could put a filter on it. This, this probably needs to be bigger. If something, if you want something to overlap on another, make sure you look at the positioning. So if I wanted this to come forward, I click on position and bring it forward and then it's on top of there. But of course you don't want to. So it comes up on top and you have to move it back. Just click on the back button until it gets to where you want. This definitely needs to be bigger text. It's connected with the white square. It looks like. So that is one where I've generated the image in ChatGPT with the help of ChatGPT, giving it a prompt and asking it what to do. The other easy way to do a thumbnail is to pick one of those templates and then put a screenshot on. So something like this, I wouldn't necessarily want to spend the time to create an image. I would just take a screenshot from my YouTube account. So an example of that, I'll show you, I've already done one. Here, I took a screenshot and just put it into the background. So I went over to my channel, which is right here. And I did control P because I was using uh, Snagit. But if you have any screen recorder, so I put control P, it highlights the screen. What I want to do, I would click enter, and then it's going to pop it up in a, into my editor in Snagit. And this is the screenshot. I could then do things like a uh, highlighter is one thing. So I can, I highlighted the views and I highlighted the likes and dislikes. I did filter it based on the highest number of views. So I have one video that has 191,000 views or so with a high like dislike ratio. And then you can just save this as an image. You could put an arrow. So I can do arrows like that for people to look. And it's a screenshot that you don't want people to be able to look at in detail because it's on YouTube on a thumbnail, but you can use it as a background. So I saved that 
and I'll go back into my YouTube where I had done that. And then I just drag dropped it on here and I did a little editing again of the image to make it a little bit softer, like erase stuff. You can take it and get it to expand. So another magic thing it can do is this magic expand. So say you have an image like that and you want it to fill the whole of the frame, I would just click on magic expand. It's gonna look at the image. I want it to fill the whole page. So I click magic expand. And then what it's done is just add something to the top, pretty much blank, but it fills the screen that way. So I could leave it as is. And then again, you wanna make sure the positioning is behind any text. Here I just have text in a great big blue box, but it's nice to have your image as well. So that is how you would create the images. Then what I would wanna do is, here's another one that I did, I showed you that chat GPT, the other chat that I did where I came up with a different image. So that was this one where I also had to tweak it. And this is the one I just did with you. And what you would do is go to share and then click download. Make sure it's download as a PNG. It's already in the right sizing for YouTube. You then click download and it will download to your computer. So it's downloaded there. Then when you have a video that you upload, you're gonna go into your video. So I don't wanna do it in one that exists right now, but I'll just show you the editor. So I would just click on the edit once I've upload. In the process of creating your video, you will have this where you put in the title and the description and you have the option to add your own thumbnail. So there'll be a blank spot here and then you would just add it or you can if you already have one there you can change it out and just upload it so again this is an existing video so i'm not going to actually do that and that's everything play with the different options see what works for you if you can do something like a screenshot or an existing image it'll be a lot faster use the templates that are on you on canva as your starting point and then play around with the image generators like ChatGPT or ChatGPT in com in combination with Canva and see what works fastest for you. Have fun with it.